doing uh, brakes on a Japanese domestic unit. She also, goes by. She goes by. This is uh, Sean's 2013 WRX. Not STI. I make sure I make, make sure I make that reference every time. Thanks. You're Appreciate welcome. It. You're welcome. It's like the boys who buy the Rolls Royce Ghost, and at some point they're going to pull up next to a, a Phantom or a proper Rolls Royce, and they're going to go, "If I just tried a little harder, I could have afforded the good one." But uh, here we are. <laughs> so, that story before Ryan gets too carried away. I never was a Subaru guy. I mean, I guess you could say I am the now because I own one. But this was traded in at work. And I was walking across the parking lot. It's like, wow, I really like this car. So I bought it. And here it is. I wasn't particular over STI or WRX. This is WRX Limited, so I mean, it has some things, but it has all-wheel drive, a turbo boxer, and a manual transmission. What do you want? Fine daily. So, on my fine daily, the uh, brakes started to get a little noisy and a bit of pulsation and all that, so I was checking all the local parts stores for parts. And I had a guy recommend Max Brakes to me. So Max Brakes is a Canadian company in Ontario. They got their website, we'll put that down in the description. And I bought an entire set of brakes for the car, front and rear pads and rotors for $235. Canadian pesos. Canadian pesos. And not to mention that they are carbon ceramic. So they're carbon ceramic pads. Yeah. And cross drilled coated rotors. So Slotted coated rotors. No, I tried to get the slot it and that when they so they do quality control on everything before they send it. And they found defects in the slot and drilled rotors. So they set me up with just the drilled rotors, which were actually ten dollars more. But they covered the cops. Sent it all, it was two hundred and thirty two shipped to the door in here in Newfin Newfoundland. New Finland. New Finland is Newfoundland here. as as the Canadians say. Everybody says, but it's Newfoundland. All one word. And uh, we're going to unbox these here now and have a look at them. Again, well, we'll start with the pads. These are already sort of unboxed. Already open, so they're all Max Brakes branded. I don't know who actually makes Max Brakes brakes, but I've heard lots of great reviews. So I got them on my uh, Golf. So Yeah, and I mean, it stops that. So, mm. so we got our service recommendations. Yeah, oh, we don't mind any of that stuff. All the shims and hardware needed. Clips. And this vacuum pack set of ceramic pads. and Don't smell like fish or cow patties, so they must actually be ceramics. And well, I mean, they're sealed for freshness. No, they're bust open right there. Yeah, right so. Got moldy. Let's throw them out. Well, they're gone and got spoiled. Spoiled. Well, I have to send that back. So yeah. now I'll take my nice utility knife, which is actually a steak knife. I ate dinner with the other knife. And we'll open up this rotor box to see what we got. Yeah, and never you mind now, fellas. You don't want to come creeping in my window. See what do you got to see? Threaten me with a good time. Well, how am I supposed to stop with that? Just kidding. That's kindling for the fire. Jeez, is some windy out today? Blowing her and the Toronto Maple Leafs do again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Now, isn't that pretty? Nice big old vents. And they got the drills. So they'll fill up in about four seconds. But yep. For the first four or five breaks, they're going to be deadly. It's going to stop great for about six times. Yeah. But Which here in Newfoundland is as good as you can expect. It's a bit better than most mm. because they usually don't stop right out of the box. No. Nope. So anyway, I'm not going to bore you guys with the same thing on all four corners. I'm just going to show you one side 
or one axle the front and then one axle on the back and I gotta adjust it by part brake shoes so you can come in for a look at that too. Three, two, one. This will be set up and on jack stands and ready to go. So here we go. Three, two, one, go. I was actually gonna put this on jack stands. No, I just gonna let it eat on this torn jack that I got from Costco because it's good. So I'm gonna take these uh, tires off here, but I got a pretty fancy trick here. So I'm just gonna, oh, I turned the steering wheel the wrong way. Is this? Listen to the wind. Oh, the truck box. So that's fine. Good car. I better get that uh, nice oh my Jesus screwdriver we got from and the old scrapyard. The old scrapyard, junkyard bonds. Now that's the uh, Subaru certified uh, wet method of pushing back the caliper, right? You be quite. Yes. I don't know, I'm not a Subaru tech. I can't. I don't you're also, you're also a GM master tech who works as Audi. And your point? If it's got, yes, I know, I'm deadly. If it's got tits or tires, the mechanic usually can take care of it. Tits or tires, I can make it speed. Ha ha ha! My wife's gonna kill me. Sure, there's lots of pad left here. Is there actually? Yeah. yeah. But they're pulsating, so. Meats. They're also probably cheap pads. I'm gonna go with yes. Maybe I'll save on them and... Just throw them in the garbage. Reuse them. Just throw them in the garbage. Obviously. Like one of them fellows who goes to the... You pick. You pick. Get takes right breaks off. So. That's okay. the uh, goo. Break test. He knows it's a quality pad when they fill up with... Yeah. Schmoo. His best. That there looks like a 17. Nice hammer. Smack. Wonders why all my tools are broken. Oh! I might actually have to stand up. Might have to get a pipe. I got something for this. Impact? Oh, yeah. Now you. Battery almost didn't go on. That's what you want. Ah. Mm. I think whatever me had put these brakes on last cross shredded that bolt. Variable well, can you get me like a three inch, half inch extension? Slide things are nice and free. Both. Three. No, oh, no! Oh, my paint! Alright, for you, you got nothing with good paint on it. What's that? That's alright for you, you got nothing with good paint on it. On what? Cars. None of my cars have good paint. That's what I said. You says, mm, don't mind you, you don't have any little paint. Don't know what it's like. True story. Sure, that one just it. jumped out. Whoa! What? Get the Jesus! It's like that? Oh, yeah. I like that, that works. Yeah? That there's a thing. Yep, and warm summer days in Newfoundland. Mm, don't you just love spring? Minus two, sloppy rain and snow. Yeah. That's great. All the way. So we got this here go fast rotor. It is significantly lighter. Hey! Feel the floor vibrate when I throw it. I almost panicked. I thought it wasn't lining up. No! <laughs> Alright. I'll be right back there, fellas. I gotta clean this up and grease it and all that good stuff. Oh, so, yeah. Greased up all these brand new shims and. Remember, fellas, 
Don't forget to take out your slide pins, grease, clean them first, and then grease them. Because it's too often that these are just stuck right in there, harder than the cassette tapes in them old blah punks. To get out. Just. Yeah, I think actually we had a, we had a friend of the channel uh, recently had some work done at the, had, well, we won't say the dealer, but at the dealer. And uh, they only greased half the slide pins, ended up uh, prematurely wearing his uh, brakes. They see so hard into the knuckle, or not knuckle bracket. Into the, no, not even the bracket, that was the caliper itself. Oh, it was the caliper. Because they got a different weird setup. Anyway, it works alright, but it will see so bad that the rust cracked the slide pin. Right. That's how much pressure this lovely corrosion. Creates. Clean and grease, you won't have a problem with this moral of this story. Yeah. So I'm going to ask the question because, you know, we've had this conversation before. Um, the clips, what are they like? Because usually when you buy aftermarket brakes from, say, your local UAP automotive uh, surprise. Oh, you're asking for, like, the fit and fitment of them. Yeah, what are they like? Are they, do, they, do they clip in there really easily or did you have to heavily modify them? I didn't have to modify anything. I had Perfect. to clean a lot more of the rust of the the brackets, which is understandable anyway. Once they're clean the rust tape, they just clipped right in. So, perfect. Good we'll job, Max Brakes. We'll see how the pads fit in now. That's the next test here. But... Okay, so these have these weird little dicky birds on them. And uh, I could cut them out. But I think I'll try and do it the right way first. So these are made to help pull the pad back off the rotor. Because you don't really want them touching all the time, so it gets hot. Mm. Hot is not good. It's not best. Let's see now. Oh, I almost got my finger open. <laughs> oh, maybe this might be a downfall. I have faith. I do too. Oh, yeah. Oh. Like a glove. Like a glove. It fell right into place, so now maybe hopefully this back one's going to be the exact same thing. Why don't you go over the uh, some of the modifications you've done to this vehicle since you've gotten it? Nothing. She's bone stock. Right. Not a race car, only a WRX. Not right. So it's not an STI. So <laughs> I what have I done with this? I got hella horns. Yep. Got those for Christmas. Got me light bar on the front with the two Hella 500s. Yep. That was a Christmas gift. Got your bracket. Got me bracketry. Mm -hmm. I got my polyurethane sway bar bushings. I only put in polyurethane because the stock ones were gone and they were just as cheap. Yep. <laughs> uh, the. Trying them out? Oh yeah, I put a Group N STI, like made by Subaru Technica Institute, for the 5-speed, put in a transmission mount, because the stock one was super squishy, and I'll put in a couple of pictures here now, so you can see the difference, right now. So this is the old transmission mount that I'm changing on here. As you can see, it's very easily pliable. And this is the one I'm putting on. Can't move it. Sweet. So now that you've seen that, you can understand the need for a nice set of transmission mounts. The flange that holds the axle back onto the mid pipe rotted out, of course, Newfoundland. Thanks, guys. So. Well, the fellow was down under it, I decided I was just going to cut it right off and made my own Y-pipe and hacked it together for now until I'm ready to buy an actual exhaust system. By when I'm ready, I mean I find a used one for dirt cheap because... Daily. That's me, dirt cheap. <laughs> uh, Cat NVIDIA Catalyst downpipe. Custom tune from Torque Performance down. Eric Meinhardt done a... Fantastic job. We're still on revision five, fine tuning it out. Got a Grim Speed insert air filter, uh, aftermath hose, get rid of that.
corrugated ugly pipe. One thing that I really need is a better audio system. So if any of the viewers here are Subaru guys and spend much time around the audio, if you got any neat ideas or good systems to use, and just put it down in the comments. And I'll look it up and maybe I'll try my hand at putting them in too. So anyway, we've got off task here pretty fast. I mean, I'm totally impressed with this company so far, and I told them that I was going to be putting this up on the old YouTube. They even went ahead and sent us a couple of big stickers there for the toolbox. I thought that was pretty neat. Well, maybe a fellow's going to have to jam one of them on his car. You can see Max, 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 Max. Max! Power! It's the name no one can touch. I just hate using these winter tires in the summer. Summer. <laughs> you use air quotes there. Just... Because they are fantastic winter tires. And they're getting chewed up on the hot roads. Again, use air quotes when you say hot. Above 7 degrees. Use air quotes when you, use say, air above. Quotes when you say above 7 degrees. I guess we'll move on to the back now. Yep. Well, we're on to the uh, booty of her. So again, half the backing plate is missing. It's fine. Whether you're just doing a bit of maintenance or a big bit of maintenance, it's always worth your while to do a nice check over on your suspension and stuff too. Because there's a lot of them ball joints and bushings and things that rust out and wear out. So I've just done that before we flip the camera and give her a little wiggle and a shake. Having a little look here and a whole lot of road salt and a whole lot of undercoating. So can't really see much, but it's fine. I mean, it definitely got to be. Throw that caliber. Look how small and cute that is. I don't know. Yeah, they're tiny. So I think back brakes are worse than the front. And there's, these were newer. Cheap brakes, obviously, you can tell by how rusty they are. Maybe my park brakes are weird because they need to get back in place. springs look like they're regularly in. Do we have any of that brake rejuvenation spray here? We do. We do. Yeah, my vacuum plate is totally shot. We won't talk about that. Maybe I should just... Yeah. I'm just going to fix that now. I'm going to regret that. I'm going to have to buy new vacuum plates. No, I'm not. Because to do that, i got to take the wheel bearing out. Don't need those. On a spray pattern we have. No. Ah. Open up, give her a little more. You can consider yourself rejuvenated. Now we'll go get some of those new parts. Well, we gotta dry this up. <sighs> that helped. Yep, big time. Well. <sighs> you think I'm joking? What does a filler have to do to adjust on these? There's still lots of grease and stuff back there on the sliding portion, so there's this little adjustinator here. I wonder. Just look at what your drawer. I spin my fingers. Oh perfect. Look. When you're adjusting on park brakes, rule of thumb is just feel a little bit of touchies. Sure. Unless they're brand new. If they're brand new, 
you adjust until there's resistance and rolling because they'll burn in real fast and you're like, take it all apart again. Just to adjust it. I'll give her a couple more little that's perfect. Always remember to put that back in because you'll be unhappy if you don't. Now I'm gonna shoot up to the old workbench and clean this up. The rear brakes didn't come with the clips and shims. Dang it. But the ones that were here were still in great shape, so I just cleaned them up with the wire brush as you would. And sopped her full of the brake grease. That's fine. I would imagine that they fell out somewhere in the manufacturing process because the fronts had the perfectly fitting clips. So. I mean, I'm not totally upset right now, it's just, dang, oh well, slip all this back together, yeah, yeah, oh, oh, you want to get me the oil filter slash brake caliper pushback tool? Ah, uh, yes. This weather is just not nice. Wait till you see me use this oil filter plier. They work for other things too. I like to call them the multi-purpose pliers now. Mm. If it's stupid and it works, was it really that stupid? I mean, yes, but no. no. So, we got our caliper here. It's so cute. It's small. And it needs to be pushed back. Yeah, this should work good. So you just... Right on down with the mobile filter blowers and yeah. Oh, that's tight. It's not centered. I need a pad. Ah, uh, there we go. And you just hold the strain on her. Oh, it's tight. Uh oh. Give me the caliper push back tool. It's the right one. Dang it! So, folks, I didn't need to get the brake back push back tool. The right one. Right, wrong one was the right one. Correct. Right. Me and the guys at work were uh, talking about the channel today. Yeah. One of them told me that he's never watched it. I'm like, why not? Why don't you want to watch my channel? And he said, I got to deal with you all day. You think I want to watch you when I go home? Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> but for the rest of you, not so much. Not so much. What's your excuse? Hit that like and subscribe button. You have to hit the like and subscribe. Like, pause right now and do it. And do it. It doesn't cost you. It right? doesn't cost you, but it certainly helps us. So, Quite if you already did, thanks. If you didn't, and you still haven't, do it. And if you're not going to, well, you're not a very good person. Sorry, I'm not good enough. Yeah. Yeah. So, follow us on all the platforms. As long as all those platforms are Instagram and Twitter, or Facebook. And uh, if you keep following us, the more we get, we will be having giveaways and yes. contests and things. things and stuff. So remember now, if you want to use these, then we'll put the link down below. And it's a pretty easy website to use. You just choose your vehicle and choose the brakes you want. And sit and stare in awe at how cheap it is. And then in two to three to four weeks, depending on if they have them in stock or not, they show up. Well, actually, if they have them in stock, it's like yeah. a couple of days. Yeah. I uh, got the brakes for my Golf, and yeah, I think I ordered them on Monday, and they were there either that Friday or the following Monday. Yeah, and subscribe to them, too, I suppose. And yeah, they're on the Instagram and the face cloth. And trying them out. I'm trying them out now, so I'll let you know when... I've run mine all winter, and I didn't get the coated ones. I just got the OEM replacements, and they're fine. The golf stops and goes and not stops noisy, again. no not pulsation, noisy, no pulsation. So, uh, anyhow, by the time you see this video, I'll probably have these on for a little while, and then after the video is released, I'll let you guys know my initial opinion on them. I was looking for the word. Words are hard. And then who knows, maybe 
next year when after the winter when I switch back on to my summer tires, I'll go through and do an inspection and show you what they're all about. I took measurements of everything before, so we'll measure them and see how they were versus kilometers and you gotta remember that every kilometer on my car is severe service. So that's great. Anyway, that's it for today guys. Like we just had a conversation, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all the chats and hellos and likes and dislikes, whatever you want to do. Without dislikes, don't do those. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you again. Apparently I gotta go check me sausages. No, not that sausage. I got me new work pants, what do you think of them? They're, they're dirty now. They, they look much like your old work pants. Well look at this, look. <laughs> they got a dirt pocket. Oh. There's a perfect... You don't have a cigarette box around here. I bet that fits perfectly in Probably. there. Or a Just, cal calculator. Oh, yes, for those... Calculations. Yeah.